As you get started with cross tracks, I want to give you a general overview of where things are located and what certain things are. First, up here at the top, you have this three barred icon. That's where you can expand or minimize the navigation bar. So if you want to just utilize these icons to expand your screen, if you're working on a smaller screen, you can do that with this icon. Below that, you have a universal search by case. So you can search for a case by subject or case number. Here's the dashboard. That's this screen here. If you click on the case dropdown, you can search for a case, add a new one, import a bulk amount of cases, utilize the case updater, look at the case notes, or see case invoices. Underneath that, you have clients, where you can look at your client list of companies, or you can view your contact list, which are individuals. Below that, you have a list of your admin users, and then investigators. You have the list, you have the protocols and instructions for your investigators, documents, and here is where you can generate time and expense sheets. Next is the Investigator Alliance. If you would like more information on that, please go to investigatoralliance.com. That's a great networking platform for investigators that can help you get cases. And if you're a company, you can also assign cases to investigators throughout the country via the Investigator Alliance. The CRM is a customer or client relationship manager where you can enter leads, activities, enter events such as conferences or client meetings, your tasks. If you want to keep track of calls that you've made to prospects, you can do that as well. You can also enter accounts and contacts here, and those will transfer into your account and contacts for your clients. Below that, you have the file management system, which is very similar to Windows Explorer, where you can categorize files and those files can be accessed by your staff at any time. Here you have company reporting, and these are the metrics and reports that you can run in regards to company activity. Things like GPS tracking reports, sales tools, client metrics, and a login report showing you who has logged in and out of the system. One of the first places you're going to want to visit as you get started with Crosstracks is the settings page. All of the settings within Crosstracks are located on this one convenient page and they're broken down into this area is system settings. This area is in reference to your billing and invoice settings. Here you have your integrations and these settings are in relation to your debt investigative reports. Down here in the bottom left is a support button. When you click on that, you can access the system articles. You can also report a problem, or if something's broken, you find a bug, something's not working, you can do that in this area. Up at the top of the screen, this red box is a time tracker. So if you wanna track time and see how much time you're spending doing certain tasks inside of cases, that's what that is for. The green button next to it is the, what I call the quick add button, where you can quickly add a new case, a client, a contact, an administrator, or an investigator. The chat icon here is exactly what that is. If you have multiple team members using Crosstracks simultaneously, you all can chat back and forth. This links to your calendar next to that. Here you have a list of tasks. This is a summary icon, and we'll dive into that in another video. Here you have system emails that are unclassified and there'll be videos on each one of these topics as well. Next to that, a very good tool we've implemented to help users become acclimated with the system. These are walkthrough tutorials. Now these vary page to page. So if you're in the client area or you're in a different area of the system, these videos will change and be on different topics. You can click on any one of these videos and take a tour of the system or learn how to do things such as add an investigator. Up in the right hand corner, you have your account controls your profile that you can fill out, account and billing, company licenses, and then you can log out. 
If you decide to go with Crosstrax, you can click on account and billing, and that's where you can choose your plan, clicking on buy plan. If you need to update company information, you can do that here as well. If you have any questions about the system, please feel free to email us at info, I-N-F-O, at crosstracks.co. You can also visit our website, which contains valuable information on the system, its features, and how investigators of all specialties are using the system to benefit their business.